Hey everyone, it's Will from GI. Right now, we're gonna cover basic maintenance of your GI Victus. What you're gonna need, GI Battle Grease, Allen key, and a small screwdriver. So first, let's take care of the drivetrain. Push in this button here, grab onto the back, and pull. Your whole drivetrain should come out easily. Now what you wanna do is separate these two pieces. At the same time, you wanna be careful not to lose this o-ring right here because it's free floating so we're going to take that off put it to the side so we don't lose it now the parts you want to look out for for wear are this bumper here these two o-rings there's an o-ring located on the inside here and these two o-rings here also it's a good opportunity to take a look at your bolt bumper just to make sure it's there and in and it's in place so what you want to do is you want to take your microfiber cloth or paper towel and wipe off any excess grease or dirt or buildup that has accumulated. Okay, like so. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is take your GI battle grease, put a small dollop on your finger, like so, and begin applying it. So I like to start at the bolt tip and work my way back. So I'm just gonna take a little bit, twirl the bolt. Try not to put too much on the bolt tip because some of that grease will end up on the ball for the first couple shots, so your, your shots may not be as accurate. So just be mindful of not to put a whole heaping amount of it. Now you're gonna to wanna to put a little bit here, just like so. Turn it around, push your bolt in, push the guide brass guide back, Okay, now you wanna take care of these O-rings right here, just a little bit. You're gonna to wanna to put your free-floating O-ring back into its groove, like so. Take your back block, push it together, thread them together, like this. Now you can take care of the stationary O-rings. Again, just put a little bit of grease on your finger and apply like so. You don't have to put a lot on these O-rings. It's just there to keep them nice and lubricated. Okay. Now all you do, line everything up, push in the button, trying to line it with the hole on top here. So now we're gonna take care of the eyes and the ball detents. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, take your Allen key, remove this little bolt here. Now when you lift up the eye cover, there's a small spring for the ball detent. You wanna make sure that it doesn't take off on you. Okay, you're gonna lift up the eye cover plate like so. So inside here, you have your spring. Just keep it all together. You have your detent and you have your eye assembly with the eye wires. So you're gonna pull out your detents and you're gonna unscrew the retaining screw for your eyes. Again, putting it somewhere safe. Removing that screw. I just like to tuck the eyes away some people may like to detach them. What you're gonna do then is take your micro, microfiber cloth, clean all the insides. You might wanna take a paper towel. The areas to cover are the detent hole and the two eye holes. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come back and you're gonna wipe down the board for the eyes to make sure it's clean. Then what you do is you line everything back up to reassemble it. So we're gonna put the eye board back in. We're going to put the screw back in. Like so. Make sure everything is aligned. Don't wrench on this too too tight because you don't want to strip the screw. We're going to make sure that we clean off the detent. Just wipe off any paint residue. Try to make sure that you clean inside the hole for the spring as well because you don't want it to seize up. 
put the detent back in the body, put the tiny detent spring back in. We're gonna put the eye plate back on, being careful that everything is aligned. If you feel any kind of tension or anything like that, and it's not going into place very easily, just make sure that you've put everything in place, that the eye wires are not binding up or that the detent spring isn't binding up. Then we're gonna put in the eye plate retaining screw, like so. And we're done. This should cover all the basic maintenance that you're gonna have on a day-to-day -day level with your GI Victus. I recommend you do this every time you play. That way, your Victus is running at optimum performance all the time. If you have any questions, be sure to visit gisports.com or you can email tech at gisports. Thank you.